But you guys want to know how life's pretty much going to go for all of us, with very few exceptions, actually no exceptions? When you're born, you push through a hole about this big. You're miscolored and misshapen. You look like a freeway safety cone that was hit by a drunk driver. <laughs> but now you're on the planet, ready to pursue happiness. Hell yeah, except for one to five, you don't get any happiness. You're sitting in your own poop half the time. You're puking up on yourself, and your muscles don't respond to anything you want. You can't communicate, yet everything pisses you off. <laughs> no happiness. Five to 10, you're just a mobile idiot now. What does a stove feel like? Is that electricity? <laughs> I'm gonna chase my ball into the street. Come here, Rottweiler! <laughs> and everybody around you is screaming at you. Put it down, go to your room, take that out of your mouth, knock it off, shut up, I will kill you. <laughs> no happiness. 10 to 15, you start mutating. <laughs> Hair starts poking out of you. Bumps start forming on the women, and they start bleeding for absolutely no reason. <laughs> and then pus starts coming out of your face. <laughs> you look like you've been armor old all the time. <laughs> you are hornier than you have ever been, yet uglier than you will ever be. <laughs> no happy. 15 to 18, you're a brilliant retard. <laughs> Mom and dad were dead. I could live in their house and use their bank account. Shaw. <laughs> then if you had any good parenting at all, at 18, you got kicked out on your own. Yes, on my own, 18, ready to pursue happiness, freedom, woo-hoo! Except at 18, you don't get any happiness. Instead, you start making huge adult mistakes. <laughs> Yeah, they suspended my license, but that doesn't mean I can't drive. <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to my agent. Hi, yeah, I sent my check-in yesterday. I don't know. Listen, I'm talking to the officer. I was texting. Now I'm upside down. Hello? <laughs> Do you really need a ride to Planned Parenthood? <laughs> Look at the people not laughing at that one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> then right around 23, 24, you get this weird fingertip grasp of what it means to be an adult. And you're paying your bills every month. You're late every month, but you're paying your bills. <laughs> and no matter what anybody says about you, you can always go, yeah, bite me. I own that futon. <laughs> and those seven mismatched forks <laughs> that I stole from my parents' house. <laughs> over seven Thanksgivings. <laughs> then right around 25, you meet the one, the one, the one, yes, the one, the one, someone to pursue happiness with, and this person is perfect except for all their fucking problems, Jesus Christ! <laughs> but you're getting sex pretty regular. <laughs> and you're sleeping eight hours a night, that's a third of the time you're not fighting, so it is good. <laughs> and you're actually happy from 25 all the way to 26 and a half. <laughs> and then someone comes in and goes, the stick is pink. <laughs> and used up all your Planned Parenthood coupons years earlier. <laughs> so you got your own little freeway safety cone coming now, yeah. And the little nuclear anxiety thing that all of us humans have that no other animal has, thinks about the future and just starts cranking up the Fukushima level. You start going, I gotta get a better job. I need to get a better car. How to make more money. How do I bolt in a car seat? Then the kid is born and for the first five years, all you're thinking is, don't let it die. Don't let it die. Don't let it die. <laughs> Now you're 30 years old, it is five, and from five to 10, you cannot believe this stupid thing you two created. <laughs> you call your parents, it set itself on fire three different ways. <laughs> and all you hear is laughter. <laughs> now you're 35, it's 10. And from 10 to 15, this thing that you've given all your love to, that you've given all your energy into, that you gave up money, time, and sleep for! <laughs> the thing that you put food in its belly and clothes on its back every day it walked the earth, now 
hates your guts. <laughs> hey, mom, dad, bite me. <laughs> and now what you're thinking is, oh, I can't kill it, it's 15. Everybody knows about it. Now you're 40 years old, and we don't kick kids out at 18 anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they need to stay home, polish their participation trophies until they find themselves. <laughs> I mean, maybe it goes to college, you know, it was 19 for like six months, but then it comes home, mom, dad, I was in philosophy class, and I heard this great quote. If you find something you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> So, that's what I've decided to do. <laughs> and now it's living with you. <laughs> Eating your food, you're paying its bills, but it thinks it runs, it thinks it's an adult. You come on vacation, your car is wrecked. Oh my God, yeah, if someone had taught me how to drive better, maybe that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Look at your checkbook one day, it's $400 light. Oh my God, yeah, someone left their pin code out. It's a cheap lesson. You are welcome. <laughs> so finally, it's 19, you had enough. You get in a fist fight with, and this dumbass thing you raised files a restraining order against you, <laughs> which the judge grants and then goes, hold on, <laughs> you're over 18, you gotta move out of your parents' house. At least 500 yards according to your own restraining order. <laughs> And you're not exactly happy, but you laugh your ass off for nine days. <laughs> now you're 45 years old and you realize, I have not been happy for the last 20 years of my life. And you sit down across the table from the one and you realize, it's your goddamn fault. <laughs> the divorce lasts from 46 to 51. Now, you've been on the planet half a century and you have exactly half of what you earned in your life. And half of your half went to your divorce attorney. <laughs> and you got this little sliver left, and you say, damn it, I am gonna be happy! <laughs> and you buy a Harley. <laughs> off of Craigslist. <laughs> and the first day on the bike is the best day of your life. Get your motor on out, head out on the hee-haw! <laughs> Pull into town, feeling like a badass after that first day of bliss, you catch a reflection in the storefront window, and you realize, oh, God, I look like Dr. Phil with a do-rag. <laughs> but you don't care because you were happy. The second time you ride it on the highway cruising along, you glance over, there's a 17-year-old girl in a tercel from the earlier joke, <laughs> steering with her knee and text, and you realize, ah, shit, I'm gonna die on this thing. <laughs> you park it that night and never ride it again. But you don't sell it, because guy or girl, you tell someone, I own a Harley, that's kind of sexy. <laughs> And that's all you want now. <laughs> Just some sex. <laughs> Please? <laughs> but you're 51. Can't go hang out at the nightclub. You're just that weird, creepy old guy at the nightclub now. <laughs> Sir, can I talk to you? Are you looking for your daughter? Sir, are you a cop? Sir, can I talk to you for a second? And if you're a 51 year old woman, he's even worse. You're a cougar. Ma'am, are you the manager? Here's my credit card, ma'am. Oh my God, you're dropping something. Oh, it's your arm skin. I apologize. <laughs> Suck it up. It's happening to all of us. <laughs> so you start dating at your level. And you realize after a couple years that everybody lies on their eHarmony profile. <laughs> and those Christian mingle people are too freaky in bed even for you. always showing up with a brick of dildos. <laughs> now you're 56. And you're hitting Whole Foods one day, buying $19 broccoli <laughs> and $22 ginkgo biloba, but you don't know what it does. <laughs> On your way to Zumba. <laughs> and that's where you meet the real one. And this is the one. Same life experience, same wisdom you've had. They also have a kid they despise and you bond over that. <laughs> and from 56 to 60, you're ecstatic. Happiest time of your life. You spend three weeks in Hawaii, best time you ever had. 
You come home, spend five years paying off that credit card. <laughs> but you don't care because you're happy. Then right around 60, you wake up in the morning, a little pain in your side. You're like, what the hell is that? And you go to the doctor, and he goes, did you used to drink a lot of mellow yellow? <laughs> well, we found this thing called yellow dye number 19. Turns out it's a nerve agent, and it's not really good for you. What it does is crease these nerve balls to form under your ribs. The weird thing is the nerve balls are connected directly to your left foot, and we can't stop it. But over the next five years, your left foot's going to grow about nine sizes bigger than your right. <laughs> for the next five years, you wake up every morning, and lefty's just kicking righty's ass. <laughs> But the one stays with you. And they love you like you've never been loved. And they keep you from pulling to the left. <laughs> and like all human beings, we adapt. We learn to live with it. Step, flip, <laughs> Step, flip, Step, flip, <laughs> And every three months, you got to go to a discount shoe warehouse and buy two pairs of shoes, <laughs> a nine and an 18. <laughs> now you're 65 and stop growing. And you're just a weird dude down the street with the giant foot. <laughs> but deep down, you always feel like half a clown. Then one day, you're at your house, 67, whatever, having a barbecue with your friends in the backyard on a hot day, having a great time. Middle of the barbecue, you have a mild stroke. <laughs> and in a horrible twist of fate, the side that goes numb is the side with the good foot. <laughs> but you don't care because your snowboard foot gets you around so much faster. Now it's flala lap drag, flala -la lap drag, flala -la lap drag, flala -la lap drag. And you can no longer pursue happiness, you want to pursue the ability to pick up a goddamn coffee cup at this point. <laughs> so you start going to physical therapy and you go three times a week and it doesn't cost you anything because Obamacare worked out. Who knew? <laughs> and you and you and you take take your pills like you're supposed to take, and you change your diet, and you do everything they're supposed to do. And after a while, the part of your brain that died off, the synapses connect to another part of it, and, and nerve endings start to wake up again. And after a while, you get to a place where you start to feel normal, and you don't stop, and you bust your ass for seven, eight years doing everything you're supposed to do. And you get to a point at 73, 74, where no one could even tell you had a stroke. <laughs> now you are ready to pursue happiness. <laughs> Three months after that, the universe flicks your switch and you die in your sleep. <laughs> and in the final moment of indignation, your muscles relax and you soil yourself with your last meal of chili beans and Metamucil. <laughs> and you go to Jesus covered in your own poop. <laughs> then your family splits up after fighting over all the crap you left behind. And then that house that you just spent 30 years paying off gets sold to the next <laughs> bitch on a donut run. <laughs> Welcome to life, bitches. There you go. There you go. Woohoo! Yeah! So worth it. <laughs>